Today I'm going to show you how to speed up applications using threads in Java. We use a divide conquer algorithm to check if program execution can be divided into fragments that can be executed separately. My sample program is a simple downloader application which downloads images available at URLs. My program iterates through URLs and downloads images one by one. To speed up our program, we download an image in a separate thread. Let's take a look. Here's a table containing image URLs, which are going to be downloaded. There are 10 images. Let's start our program. Pictures have been downloaded. The names of the images that were downloaded one by one start with the word single. The ones that were downloaded in a separate thread have names starting with multiple. Look at the download statistics. It took 1,284 milliseconds to download those 10 images in a single thread, one after another. Downloading each image in a single thread was slightly faster. It took 937 milliseconds to do that. OK, this is my program. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to read bytes from URL to file, download files in a single thread, Download files in multiple threads. Let's begin with reading bytes from URL. This is my image downloader class. Here is an image URL attribute which stores the URL of the image that is going to be downloaded. Next, I have a destination path which is going to point the local file where we want to store the image. I had set those two class attributes in the constructor. OK, here is my download method where all the magic is taking place. At first I create a URL object pointing to the image. Next an input stream is being opened from which bytes are going to be read. Next a file output stream is created which points to the local file. Bytes are going to be written to this stream. Next we need a byte table a buffer which will be used to transfer bytes from input to output. Bytes read integer is used to store the number of bytes read in each reading iteration. OK, here's how we read and write bytes. This while loop condition is the key. I read bytes from the input stream by calling read method with a buffer argument. This method returns the number of bytes read from the stream. Reading takes place until there are no bytes to read until the read method is returned positive values. In each iteration, I call write method of the file output stream. It takes a buffer containing data and two indexes pointing to the places where data starts and ends in the buffer. At the end, remember to close both streams, especially the file output stream, so as not to lose any of the written data. OK, I have shown you how to read data from URL and store it in a local file. Now let's download some images in the same thread. My code looks like this. I save processing start time in the start time variable by calling the system current time millis method. Next, an iteration takes place. I iterate a URLs table and for each URL a new image downloader object is created. For each object, I call the download method. After the download process, I need to store the end time in the end time variable, the same way as when I stored the start time information. Next, a download report is being displayed. Simple? OK. Every download can be done in a separate thread. This way, our program will work faster. We will use a barrier concept where the main thread starts a number of processing threads and then it waits until all the processing threads end. The main thread waits on a barrier. Let's see how it can be implemented. At first we need a log object which will hold the number of the currently running threads. I use the running threads number variable to store this information. In the constructor it is being initialized to zero. My log class has a method which returns the running threads number variable. 
and an add running thread method which will be used by a thread to register itself while started. And remove the running thread to unregister it. Ok, next we have a download thread implementation class which extends thread class. It has attributes to store image URL, destination file and a log object. I set references to those objects in the constructor. Now, take a look at the run method, where the download process is taking place. At first, a thread is registering itself as running by calling add running thread of the log object. Next, an image downloader object is created, and like before, a download method is called. After that, the thread is unregistering itself. A remove running thread method of the log object is called. Next, a thread is notifying another thread that might be waiting on the log object. A notify method of the log object is called. Take a look at the main thread. A log object is created. Next, I store start time information the same way as before. Next, for each of the URLs, a separated thread is created and started. And here we have our barrier on which a main thread is waiting. It is a while loop with the condition in which we are waiting for all the threads to unregister. The loop is being executed until there are more than zero running threads. In the loop body, the main protest is waiting on the log. Each time a working thread calls a notifying method on the log, the main thread awakes and checks the loop condition. If there are working threads, it waits again. Another download thread calls a notify method and the main thread checks the while condition again. The whole process takes place until there are no working threads. The download process ends with the same report as before. The download time is displayed. Ok, this is my implementation. I downloaded from 10 up to 100 files. Each time a separate thread was used, it resulted in a faster program execution. In this tutorial I showed you how to download files in Java and how to speed up this process by using multiple threads. This was an example of the divide and conquer approach to solving problems. I hope this was useful for you. Have a nice day. Bye.